promise you guys that I probably would have been like a scientist in another life. Like, <laughs> like I wish I had been pointed in the direction of like nature and natural observation like back when I was learning things, you know. I just feel like it's the best way to learn and even though it's freezing out here, I'm trying to get lots of footage so I can sit back inside the kids so we can just talk about it and see what we can learn about things today. So So today we're going to be talking about snow and ice. It's the perfect day for it because it is definitely snowing outside in March. <laughs> what are we getting ready to do? Pick up ice. <laughs> yeah, and what are we going to do with the ice? We're going to try to... Put it to... in the jar. Yeah, and we're going to try to... Savannah, are we investigating? Yep. <laughs> what happened to the tree? It has ice on it. You're right. Yeah, touch it. <laughs> Your frozen face. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like to live in Alaska? Cam, do you think you'd be able to live in Alaska? Go ahead, put the ice in there. Here we go. Put it in. So we took out our materials that we could find a little bit more about the snow and ice. I found this Things Outdoors that came with our, um, I think it is actually an Usborn. Yeah, it's an Usborn book, but it came inside of our, um, our My Father's World curriculum. And so why not use it? We don't use the actual curriculum, but we can definitely use the resource. We're gonna read a little bit about snow and ice and then I took out this book here, Nature Anatomy, and we found the section on minerals, which has a little spot for ice. Then we also have another section in here on snowflakes. So we're gonna take a look at that as well. So I'm going to let him draw some crystals and then use some watercolor to color in the crystals. Thought that would be fun. And then I also grabbed this Discovery Kids Crystal Growing Kit. I am not really depending on it to work <laughs> so well, but I figured it's a snow day, we're stuck inside, and we might as well give it a try. So while Cameron and I work on this, Kendall and Savannah are over there working on their computer work for the day. I just thought it would be less chaotic to just get some one-on-one -on -one time with my cam guy. So, what you think, Cam? <laughs> Do you think we're going to be able to grow some crystals like these? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> we'll give it a try. <laughs> Snow and ice. The air in a cloud is mixed with lots of tiny drops of water. When the drops get very cold, they turn into ice. When it gets colder, the freezing icebergs are huge. Chunks of ice, nine-tenths of an iceberg is below the water. We're talking about water at its boiling point and water at its freezing point. So, Cameron and I are reading and we're learning about icebergs. In here, it tells us that nine tenths of an iceberg is below the water. So, as soon as I finish reading that, 
Cameron then asked me, you guys, I don't know if you're following along, but the other day we started talking about fractions a little bit from when he made some paper pizzas. And so as we talked and I read, nine tenths of an iceberg is below the water. What did you say, bud? Nine tenths is 90%. Right. And then he made another observation and he said, so three tenths. And I said, is what percent? And he 30. says, 30%. 30. 30%. What about four tenths? 40. 40%. 40 and what about six tenths? Uh, 60. That's absolutely right. <laughs> High fives. Yes. <laughs> He's so super smart. My smart guy? Mm -hmm. Smart guy. Ah! Icicles are made when water that is dripping So Cameron seems to think that this will all melt in an hour it is currently 4 50. okay so you think that by 5 15 no this, 6 15. so two hours so you think in two hours this would have all melted to the bottom 6 15. okay <laughs> you can visit our blog at serenabblog.com backslash homeschool our instagram at serena b and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.